Okay guys, so we're at the car wash. Trying to wash some of the recovery mud off, but couldn't resist. Gotta put my sticker on, don't let me forget my sticker. I've seen some kitties, some kiddos down here. You guys are welcome. Toy trucks? Yeah. Want a toy truck? Yeah. Hey, you guys are awesome. <laughs> you see this down there watching the tow truck, right? Yeah. Is there something in there you want? You can have any one of them you want. Airplane? Yeah. Yeah? You sure you don't want a lollipop? They're really good. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have a good one. Thank you. <laughs> I think the bigger boy thought he was too big for... Too big for he's, yeah, he still didn't want it. But super cool, guys. Thanks for sharing these things with us. It's able to, uh, we're able to make that happen and we love it. Almost clean truck. Is that Nate's towing? Oh my God. No, it's Matt's off-road route. And uh, yes, recovery. Hey, anyway guys, Subway it is. We're gonna eat some Subway. Starving. Again, that that was the local PD that called us for an illegal park on that one. Uh, no, no parking after 9 a.m. Uh, somebody left their left their vehicle there on the roadside, so it went to impound. They're going to be looking for their car, and that was the situation on that. Uh, right now, we're up on Ski Mountain. We got another phone call in uh, for. Uh, a winch out somebody's off the roadway not sure what the situation is we're about two or three minutes out on that one so stay tuned we'll see what we're getting into 1824 it must be the other way around we did this one once it was a back driveway yeah sure is but it was a uh, something big last time i did it wasn't yeah it, it was a transit transit van there's a transit that went up this gravel road and got stuck in the snow. My favorite part of that was the guy came down with a cup of what looked like apple juice and he corrected me. He said, oh no, it's Hennessy. Hey boy. Oh, there it is. What has he done? Your destination is on the right. Well, I somehow think I wish I would have had breakfast first. <laughs> Listen, if we get up in time for breakfast, we don't have time for breakfast. There's a huge ditch over here. There's a huge ditch everywhere. I know, but look at this. What the heck was that? Oh, that's off oh, your bear spray. Bear spray. You better put that back. We don't need that accidentally <laughs> going on. We kind of figure it's it's uh, it's a good day. How it's going? <laughs> We've been to this driveway several times. Have ya? It's usually transit vans. Transit I got van. four wheel drive. I was all over it. My, <laughs> my fucking thing buried right there. Uh, buried on the bottom. That's all she wrote. My back tire, my back tire is completely off the ground. I've been working, trying, trying to get to, this. You know what I mean? But I could probably get it if I would just concede to getting 
I guess I gotta go back to the. We were gonna go out sightsee it. Yeah. But if I would have just committed in there, yeah. I might have got it. Yeah. I would have to fill all this in, I think, because I would get. I don't know. What do you do? Put it up here and just put it neutral. You know, that's a good question. Usually, <laughs> folks don't make it this far. Usually, it's just uh, Caddy Wampus facing up that way because I think their cabin's up there. Can you get anywhere up there? I think it circles. I, I don't know if it circles around or not. I think it does. Well, I I, if it did, that, then this wouldn't happen. I would just our and GPS was freaking out. And I'll see, you know, the road's getting to be no road. I'm like, Andrew, I better turn around when I can. I'm pretty sure it does. Um, that might be our best bet is to pull him that way. That's exactly what I was thinking. If we can. Uh, if you can grab your back, pull your back over this way, you can aim that way. What's that one? Give us all you got. No. Oh, camera. Oh. <laughs> that makes your tourist catalog. Yeah, we get uh, we get a lot of crazy stuff. You got some marks. Everything up here on this Yeah, I've got a lot of shit. That's my work truck. I bought it in nineteen. It's already got a hundred thousand on it. Yeah, I drive the piss out of it. That's the only way to do them. Yeah, yeah I wasn't trying to baby right here. Uh, yeah. But sooner or later, I've heard too much crashing. Yeah, I think I might try go up and around. If I can do that, then I could probably just grab you and. And head up, head up, pull the pull the front end that way, and um, yeah, that tire back there is not moving at all. That's, uh, yeah, that's when I was just getting ready to start getting. This. And I can't get into that driveway to pull you around, so uh, that might be able the to air. go to this tree and pull, or that tree, or whatever, and pull us back in a little bit. I don't think it'd give him enough to really matter. You're probably right. It's like it's really close. Well, I mean, it's just a eight feet or so you'd get by the time you hooked everything up to if you were able to grab his front you could get a little bit of lift not destroy his dam yeah uh, i could come over here at this tow hook and i could lift it a little bit and then right pull him that way that mm -hmm. can you get that one up yeah at least i can throw well, i almost got yeah that we've one, got blocks too more. that we can put underneath there too i guess i'll see if i can make it to that back road over there okay um oh, if you can make it up there you're golden right i'm pretty we sure that we've been let Didn't me we see. Back down that and winch something out that. I think we back there. down there. So yeah. yeah, give me a second. I'll see if I can make it to that. And I promise we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I worry for the end because there's a uh, chipmunk. A very nice raspberry bush up there with some big plump berries on there. So hopefully the bear doesn't come and visit. Okay, look. Yeah. Let's see. So if we go this way. been in that ditch recently. That's a good one. That's cool. That's one. Yes. I think it is. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> down there. Yes. And I'm pretty sure there's a house up here on I the corner before it turns once. to gravel. Yeah. Yeah, it was super dark that night we came up here the last time. Yeah. Probably my last opportunity right there. Mm -hmm. mm. I bet you can turn around right there. Well, I like empty driveway. Oh, there's another driveway down there. Looks very sketchy though. It just keeps getting worse. <laughs> no, wait, there's probably another driveway. Let's wait for it. <laughs> Well, she's a little overgrown, but. Oh, it's right there. It's right there, Jeff. I see her. I'm getting back in the truck. How is it that you guys have been standing here and she'd come to check you out? I told you those berries were up there. Yeah, I would, uh, I would bail for the truck. We've got spray if we need it, but. <laughs> Probably gonna climb the porch. Gonna try and climb the porch. No, usually, uh, I can't believe she was that close to you though while you're out here roaming around. That's a little 
That's where I hit my wife. I was underneath the car. And she yeah, was he had me to be eaten by a bear. Because I had her yeah. camera and they're all over us. Yeah. I figured she'd probably go into the port. Hopefully she's going that way. No, I'm just gonna sit. You guys carry guns with you? <laughs> we have bear spray. That's what you use bear spray? Mm -hmm. Right here, you yeah. live here? Mm -hmm. How far does it shoot? I think 20 feet. 20 feet on the bear spray? Yeah. They generally don't want nothing to do with you, but. She seems very content. Turn the power out of my vehicle. Just got an itch. Did you not see it until we got here? Yeah, I just seen it. Oh my god. Well, right when you guys were backing up, I heard okay. it. You can hear him. Yeah. And he was right here. Mm-hmm. Last night it was five foot from our hot tub. There was the mountain going right down by your house to the like there's a bear right there. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Go the other way. <laughs> Listen, it wants that bear, those berries. You see them right there? And we're there? in the way of the berries. Yeah. We're in between the berries and... He's gonna come down here, ain't he? Uh, probably not. But uh, we'll just keep an eye on him. Andrea. So what's the... Uh... Are you just going to hook to this this one? Yeah, okay. I don't think it'll be much. Okay. So should I get in and be driving my people? Huh? Yeah, what's that? Got your bear spray when he comes running down the hill. No, I don't have it. <laughs> I can go grab it though. I don't think I don't think he's gonna bother us. If he was going to, he would have already done it. Good bear. Keep going that way. Yeah, he's just gonna go right He's there going parking. around the house. Yeah. Wait for us to get out of here. Yeah. He says, all right, I'll all go right. over here. Hold on. Yeah, I just uh, started. Hold the brakes and turn as hard as you can towards me. Do you, do you need me in there? That'd be fine. Yeah, that'd be fine. Just hold your brakes. Hey, neutral or drive? Neutral drive or park? Uh, just uh, probably neutral will be fine. And just hold your brakes. Are you on your brake? What? Hold that brake hard. Hold the brake hard. Set your parking brake too. There you go. Okay. Keep hammered on that brake. Um, Jeff? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to grab this other Yeah. It should be fine. I was just before I left, I took it to a, a mechanic. So I went to the They just did the front end. Like a day and a half, but I'm like, well, I'm not going to get it. I'm getting right on the highway in Bolton from Cleveland to here. So I hope you get a good job and tighten everything up. It should be fine. It's a good thing you had that stuff checked, though, before you travel. A lot of people don't. Just 
Stay on your brake there. Get it from there. Think he can make it? I think he can. I think he can. I, I'm pretty bad. I don't know what happened there. That's my mulligan. <laughs> I don't see it anymore. Let's see. <laughs> see. Yeah, they like to watch us. I don't see him. I'm sure he's just hanging out, waiting for us to leave so he can have those berries over there. <laughs> no, don't feel bad because it happens all the time. All the time. Not to me. <laughs> I got a four wheel drive. I ain't never gotten stuck in my life. <laughs> well, you're not the four, first four wheel drive we've pulled out, so. I'm from Ohio, it's like this. <laughs> I always think I can do things I can't do. <laughs> well, I mean, this driveway is. It's screwed up, yeah. It's set up. They gotta do something. Yeah, it's not set up for a. It's yeah. It's gonna be a nice place. Yeah. But for a lot of these, it's just making it work. Even the one our cap, it's a little. Yeah. A lot of them are. What do you guys do here in the wintertime? Are you frozen? It melts off pretty quick. But usually you stay put. Yeah. <laughs> I think if you keep your tires in that same direction, if you wait though, he'll uh, he'll come down. He'll guide you from that way. Hey, are you guys going to Gatlinburg from here? Yeah. Yes, you can follow us out. <laughs> Let him come out and guide you so that he can watch that side too. Hopefully. I think if he stays that direction, he'll be all right. What do you think? Yeah, just uh, ease up. Stay in neutral and just ease off your brake. You might have to back up one. I think you'll be all right. Okay, just ease off your brake and see I'm if off it, my brake in you'll have to go drive then. Low, maybe. Turn. There you go. Fantastic. All right, Bear. We'll leave you alone. You guys got him going that direction. I mean, this is a paved road, but I am still in four low. Um, and he, uh, he's still spinning tires back there. Too. It was this driveway right here that we winched someone out of, wasn't it? It was, yeah. yeah. I don't even remember what the situation was. Yeah, they tried to turn and uh, lost traction. And, Yeah, like I said, it's paved, but there's lots of loose rock on top of the pavement, and it's very overgrown. So if you try to avoid any of these outstanding leaves or limbs, then you get into the super loose stuff, and that's when you get in trouble. Yeah, this is a, uh, it's a very crazy driveway. But that was the easiest solution on getting him out of there, was to come this way, because I would have had to really got creative if I'd have tried to scoot him around and see if we can find too high again. No road down there. Can see the notch cars. Yeah. Two wheel drive once again. But sometimes you need it all the way down ski mountain. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes it's kind of crazy. 
So the bears are out thick this time of year. My goodness. I think they know uh, Sunday is checkout day. <laughs> They're like, awesome thing. fresh trash. The trash is new. The menu's new. You had the rollback in that driveway right there. Do you remember? Yes. That, that was, was crazy. Feels like you're going to turn over and try to make this Ooh. one. Anyway guys, uh, Ski Mountain. Ski Mountain is uh, sometimes very trying. <laughs> it's one you've seen before me. He's a climber. They're very good at climbing. Guys, as you can see, it is a very bare morning here. Hi, buddy. It's like a wildlife morning. I, I don't. Is. What is going on? I don't know. Look out! Look at it. <laughs> Maybe they're all heading for the ark. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> is there something I need to know? Okay guys, let's see if we can get some, some more toy, tow trucks. We're about to eat over here at Bellasinos, but looks like we got some that could use some toy tow trucks. Hey, you boys like uh, toy tow trucks? I've got some tow trucks out here. Would you, oh would you like those? Goodness. That would be like their favorite. All right, let's, right, yeah. I will go, get we'll go, I'm gonna get some. I'll bring back back in. I even brought lollipops. You can dig through there. You can get any one you want. How's that? Can you see them? Yeah. You can have more than one if you want. That's fine. Thank you. Okay, that's enough. Just two. No, you can, you can have two if you want. That's fine. I want a digger. You want a, which one? The digger? Um, do you see a digger? Yeah. Yeah. I see. Good. Hi. I'm not sure if I see it. No, well, nope, that's a dump truck, isn't it? <laughs> see a digger? Oh, wow. Oh, that's a digger. That might be a digger. Oh, I found one. Found one? Hey, that one's cool. Awesome. We like that one. How about this stuff? Did you get a, did you get a lollipop? I got a lollipop. You got one? Thank you. You got your favorite oh, color? Nice. You're very welcome. We went to, um, yeah. We went to Chattanooga for spring break. And that's have you ever awesome. been to that tow truck museum? That's, over that's there? really cool, isn't it? They it's love really it. cool. Yeah. It's really Daddy cool. Daddy and our big boy went over like to look out mountain and I took the little Mommy. guys to the tow truck museum and I it's like so well done. Yeah. So nice. they, they, they yes. And we they've were done the only it. people in there that day. They've, they've done, done a really it. good yeah. They loved it. Well I hope you boys like tow truck you stuff. You got a digger? Yep, we got a lot of that stuff around here. You guys have a good time, okay? Lots of fun stuff to do in town. You guys are very welcome. See you guys later. Yeah, Big Brother's got one, I think. 
Yeah, no problem. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, got a PD call in for something in the middle of the lane up here. Stoplight 3, Gatlinburg. I think they've broken uh, broken a tie rod, is what he had said. We're going to see if we can get traffic cleared, if they'll let us through. Oh, my goodness. The wheels are both pointing in. <sighs> Go. I need to tell the Honda Knoxville. We have roadside assistance. They called you first. Yeah. So my roadside assistance will reimburse you, but we can give you a card. And we the can tie pay rod for it broke tow. on that side. It was tough. Uh, I'm sorry. Where do you guys tow to? Uh, we usually just up uh, someplace Hello? local here. We've got. Um, hey, we need you to come in. Uh, Smokey's Garage. We oh, take a lot home. of stuff over there. Uh, Rick Service Center. Uh, there's a lot of good places there in Sevier that can fix you up. Something it's as simple as warranty. So I, yeah, yeah, the cars under warranty with Honda. Yeah, Brand new cars. Uh, we're right in front of. Well, the main thing right now is getting you out of the road and getting you yeah, over there. Absolutely. If you get, if you need a secondary tow, then they can pick it up from that lot and take where it. Where are you taking it to? Um, really, wherever you would like me to take it to. I mean, whatever, whatever. I can. We can take it back to our lot until you figure out where, or I can take it to one of the local um, repair shops here and we just, can drop it off just take it to your lot and what do we need to do call you in the morning just yeah just everything yeah just give me a call and you can take care of it then okay. and then and, uh, uh is there gonna be a fee for when i store it no nah, brother i won't charge you no storage just uh the insurance company will take care of it so if you just want to have them give us a call that oh. way you don't have any out of pocket it, you, they, they'll just call us with payment and and uh arrange arrange okay, to we're get probably it probably gonna go ahead and pay out of pocket for tow okay to get it towed to knoxville honda and then let, let the insurance company or uh warranty. warranty take care of it from there okay and have them reimburse us so okay i just want to make sure that we're not going to be charged yeah no yeah if they'll take if they'll take care of getting you up to knoxville then that's going to be the bigger expense um okay. just give me a call when you get around in the morning uh we'll make sure you got a card so you know who to call here your, your parking brake is set, is it? i think the parking brake was set it didn't want to pull it sets automatically yeah does it, it there's the keys you want to check it see if i can get it pulled off there if not i'll have to put dollies under it and that'll be a no i think it's I'll just leave the keys. I'll put it in our drop box when you come pick it up tomorrow. Yeah, that way, fine. everything will be there right. together right. and safe. Okay, man. Yeah, man. You guys be safe, okay? She's got, she's got the business okay, card. Just give us a call when they're coming over. Okay. Roadside assistance will pay you back for the tow. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. any of the bigger we got ford and chevy and chrysler here locally so we try to uh, accommodate with that but it's hard for us to get away to the knoxville area because we're we're so tied up here locally especially with the with the local pd calls and things like that we don't want to be way out of area and we're just not a big enough company to because from here knoxville is it could be anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half from gatlinburg just depending on what lot they're going to yeah so They'll see if we can get transport up to Knoxville, which I understand it's a warranty thing. Um, if they can get stuff done and get it covered under warranty, then that's gonna be the better situation for that. So we'll take it over to the lot and um, they'll see what they can do for transport up to Knoxville. At least we got traffic cleared and got them out of, out of the uh, crazy stoplight. Stoplight threes, that's probably the worst intersection to have happened there. So we tried to get over here in a timely manner. Thanks again to Gatlinburg PD to do a great job uh, helping us out keeping us covered keeping us safe while we're trying to load things up mm -hmm. and uh, there goes an officer right there probably off for a next call but yeah guys we're gonna get this one dropped off and see what we can get into next it is the holiday day this is Labor Day itself Monday about six o'clock it's been pretty much uneventful 
uh, been kind of slow for a rainy holiday. Lots of folks in town. I figured we'd have been uh, quite a bit busier. But anyway, we're about to make our turn to get to this. Is he, he's not going to share the road with you. Boy, he just, I'm not sure what's happening. He's in my lane and that's how he's having it. Of course, these lanes are super narrow here. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, guys. Anyway, off to the lot. Thanks for watching. Okay, uh, back over here at the lot. As you can see, we got uh, one wheel going in and the other wheel going in. So if something's bad there, let me see if I can, maybe I can get it up in the air enough to see what happens. Oh. It looks like they've off-roaded the heck out of it. Oh yeah, it's definitely a tire rod in, huh? That's supposed to be connected to something. So much grass but look at all it. the damage up here. It looks like she's hit. I mean, this is super bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. They've they've been off. I mean that 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 is very fresh. That just happened recently. I mean that's a lot. Yes, and so what yeah. did they hit? They've hit something and it's broke. But that, I guess that tie rod probably just didn't cut loose and break the rest of the way until they got in that intersection because... So yeah, they've ran over something. They've hit something here recently. And probably fractured that. Fractured that tie rod in and then it finally gave loose. At the, they're lucky. That didn't give loose on the interstate. See? 